Now we'll discuss the concept of God in the Semitic religions. First we'll discuss the concept of God in Judaism. Judaism is a Semitic religion and if you read the scriptures of Judaism, that is the Torah and the Talmud or the Old Testament, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 6, verse number 4, Moses, peace be upon him, says, Shema Israelo Adnan, Hainu Adnan Khad, Yero Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. It's mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 43, verse number 11. I, even I am Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. It's mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 45, verse number 5. I am Lord and there's none else. I am God and there's none like me. It's further mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 46, verse number 9. I am God and there's none else. I am God and there's none like me. It's further mentioned in the book of Exodus, chapter number 20, verse number 3, 4, and 5. It says, Almighty God says in the book of Exodus, chapter number 20, verse number 3 to 5. Thou shalt have none other God besides me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image of anything, of any likeness, in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, and in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I, thy God, thy Lord, is a jealous God. The same message repeated in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 5, verse number 7 to 9. Almighty God says, Thou shalt have no other God besides me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image of anything, of any likeness, in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, and the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I, thy God, thy Lord, is a jealous God. So if you read the scriptures of Judaism, you'll understand that Judaism believes that you should worship only one God. And that God cannot have any images. So if you read the Jewish scriptures, you'll understand the concept of God in Judaism.